these are the plates. It's uh, silver bonded to copper, silver clad copper. They're made the way they were made in the 19th century, where silver and copper are heated to just cooler than the melting point and rolled through rollers and passed back and forth. So this is called a clad silver plate. Every plate here I've worked about an hour and a half on back in Toronto. And um, this looks shiny, but it's not nearly shiny enough. We still have to continue to polish it. So the first step in the final buff is uh, rouge. And I'm going to be counting strokes in my head. So the last buff is with uh, carbon black. So it's uh, 200 strokes all in one direction. Very light pressure. So I'm going to expose the plate to iodine vapor. So there's iodine in here. The vapors of iodine react with silver to form silver iodide. As the coating increases in thickness, it goes through the visibly the spectrum. Starts off with a light yellow, deeper yellow, into a rose, rose to violet, violet to blue, blue to green. And that's the thickness of the coating determines the contrast of the plate. Now this is the bromine here. So within a year of the invention of photography, daguerreotypy, other workers you know, wanting to accelerate the process to make uh, portraits possible. You, you know, five minutes outside is a long time to hold still. So they realized that uh, adding a second halogen, uh, chlorine or bromine or a combination of two, would increase the speed by a factor of 60 times. Basically it goes from minutes to seconds. So the next step is to develop the plate. There's really not much to see over here, but I'll put it on the, the mercury. Mercury's heated to 158 Fahrenheit, and we're going to develop it for eight minutes. So fixing can be done in white light. It is, it's so slow that you know you don't have to be in a dark room. So the fixer is a very simple sodium thiosulfate solution. So I'm filling uh, the plate with uh, distilled water. Helps me to tell if it's level. And then we'll take the toner and pour it into the surface. Now the plate's warmed with an alcohol flame. Gold would combine with the silver of the plate and of the image particles to improve the reflectance of the plate, so it improves the blacks of the plate. The other gain is that the image particles are very firmly affixed to the plate. So the image will brighten up as it dries. 